This is not playtime, Bird. It's break clean time, dude. It's a little early in the morning, like 5.30ish. It's okay though, early riser. This morning, you see the dyno is unoccupied because we're also gonna test the horsepower output of the best vehicle that's ever been produced in the history of mankind. The Box Caprice. I mean, it just, it's just the best car ever. There's just nothing that competes. Look at all those losers going to school. Bunch of nerds, dude. It's also worth noting that I called Hal, the owner of Dynasty last night, and was like, hey, um, I got a baseline of car in the morning, and I'm pretty sure he thought that I meant a paying customer was coming in. He's gonna come in and see the old Scomobile on the dyno getting twerked up. A little body roll action. I mean, it's just, I will say this, it's really hard to back one of these things up evenly. So we try, we try to keep the front wheels even on the ramp side to side so it can straighten out when the rollers start going. This is like my 12th attempt. So I'm gonna have to wait for Bert to get here to help me back this thing up because, whoo, she thick. She thick with it, son. All right, so at 305, stay alive. Literally, please don't blow up. I have to drive this home. You just don't make them like they used to, man. It's got AC, doesn't work. Not a big deal. Go for it, Bert. I'm, try I'm sorry to make you do all the work, Bert. This is gonna be a straight up unit, dude. I don't, I, it's a completely stock and well-maintained engine. I think they make 145 to the tire or to the crank stock. So if we break 100 horsepower, I'm excited. True. Wow, shut up. In true bird fashion, he's making me drive it on the dyno. I don't know why. He's trying to kill a guy one time, and all of a sudden, you got to drive your own car. I think it's going to work out great, though. I'm going to probably I'm going to probably dyno it in second gear. Okay. Just as a heads up, because uh, I don't want the drive shaft to explode. How many, well, how many 1978s have we had on there? It's the first. The first. You gotta center it up, cause it's a boat. Go ahead pop that brake off, Birdo. It's already off. Oh yeah, you feel that power? There, there it is. Action, action. All right, go ahead. Action. Press the, press the cord. Cord. action. I need a longer extension so I can get further away. Probably not. It's fine. When, when it quits pulling. Good looking curve. That's it, man. Okay, so 87 horse, 125 torque. That's great. Here's my favorite part. Look at the air fuel. Just dead ass lean the entire time. But then at the end, it's like, nah, nope, still lean. 16 and a half. Oh my gosh. That's when I let off. I, I have no clue if that's the accurate RPM. We're going to hit it again with a tack pickup. Actually, I'm kind of scared to hit it again now, looking at the air fuel. So, we'll find out. I mean, air fuel is pretty lean, and I don't know how to, do you know how to work on a carburetor? I don't. So, I just need you to spray that into the air cleaner while I make a pull. Good? Yeah. We got this. Don't, don't do that. Don't try this at home. Right. You good? Yeah. Okay, so for those of you wondering if brake clean can be used for fuel, don't worry, it can. That's a myth buster busted. 
Take from 87 horsepower to 115. We went from 17 peak to 15, but you can see she starts to boogie down. Look at that. That's, <laughs> you can see where the progressive brake clean is. Nice ramp on the brake clean, uh -huh. dude. Yeah. Like leans it right in. Well, riches it right in. I feel like we should try something. Do we have anything else that's flammable? Probably two cans of brake clean. Double down and see what we could do. Here's your dollar since it broke 100 horsepower. It's ridiculous. <laughs> we picked up a couple points of fuel with one like half empty can. And now we're going to hit it with the old, this is not playtime, bird. It's brake clean time, dude. No, again, a refresh. Who's going to go? He's, gonna go uh, <laughs> he's, he's getting staged up. You got to get the directional tubes. Yeah, it's going to be fat with the two, though. So maybe like one and a half. I'll pulse just, just pulse, yeah. And uh, I think that'd be a ticket. Give one the old, the old pulse -a and the other one just hold wide open. We've got two stages of brake clean. Hit it, yeah, 50 duty sounds about right. What we got here is 87 horsepower, and then we have 115 horsepower. That's just like a half can situation right there. We picked up almost 30 horse with a half can. Now we're going one and a half cans. I have a feeling the air fuel ratio is gonna be a little bit more happy. Should we twist the distributor? I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna start playing with the distributor too. Let's just see what happens. Okay, two cans is too rich. We know the happy medium. Half can, not enough. Two cans, too many. We're gonna go to a single can situation. Watch the bottom right of your screen as Hal progressively gets closer to the intake with the brake clean to achieve optimum AFR. We've been tuning carbs a long time here and the difference between poles you know you go a half can up that's good you know but you need a little bit more of an edge you go to a full can and now you got a full canner pumping out 120 units at the tire that's a decent pickup from 87. i mean you can't argue this is my favorite you can see right where he starts to lay the brake cleaner in orange line here yellow line whatever color he starts to pulse it a little bit gets it down in the high 12s where it's happy it's a good setup all day. I'm proud of it, dude. The old Scomobile is a champion of champions. Thanks, Bert. Good tuning today. You did a good job, man. So obviously 87 horsepower is not just it's not cut the mustard, which I don't know where that saying came. You can't really cut mustard. Someone want in the comments tell me what that saying's from, but it's not gonna do the trick. We're gonna need some more horsepower for the old Caprice. So LS swap is inevitable. And with an LS swap comes a cam kit. Right, everybody has got to do it. You got to do a cam kit, or or you can buy a lot of cam kits for everybody to enjoy. And I did that. I did, <laughs> I did just that. I bought a hundred Truck Norris cam kits. And if you are watching the channel and you want to scoop a complete Truck Norris cam kit, I have a deal for you and a coupon code. I'm gonna drop the link in the comments to go check out a Truck Norris, BTR Truck Norris cam kit. And that link will also have a coupon code underneath it. Movie magic, we're back in a truck. This time I'm headed- Turn left on Mount Eden Road. I'm just making sure she's done. Cause as soon as I turn, it's gonna be like, you messed up, turn around, do a U-turn, clap your butt cheeks together and smell your own taint. I have a very interesting voice guidance system with my GPS. <laughs> It was a 65-ish mile drive that felt like 700 miles because I was stuck behind a Nissan Frontier doing 20 under the speed limit for most of it. But now we're, we're almost there and I'm sure that this is gonna be like any other junkyard where it's like off a two lane country road in the middle of freaking nowhere. It's a pretty easy guess. I feel like I was pretty, there's a power line so it's not like dead in the middle of nowhere. You can see the piles of cars. This is nuts. Probably can't see it now though.
All right, so we got a crusty 5.3 and a junkyard full of other crusty cars. So I couldn't, uh, not that I couldn't, I just didn't want to talk in that bathroom. I wanted to take a, a bath and sanitizer. There was just multiple places written, do not throw toilet paper away because my guess is that the, the plumbing setup wasn't the best for that. So it is what it is. I did not throw any toilet paper away. I just took a little tinkle and then got back on the road. Now, what had me jacked up was I walked in and I don't know if anybody that watches this channel watches the show Justified, but it, first of all, it's an amazing show. It's one of the best shows ever. But the dude, the guy that owns the place I thought was Arlo Givens. I, for real, I, I had to stop myself from being like, bro, did you just not get paid for that for your role? Because as God is my witness, this dude was straight up Arlo Givens. Man, his bathroom sucked. Damn, it sucked. He actually told me, swear to God, I asked him, hey man, you got a bathroom I could use? Old boy says, man, I, honestly, I just go around back, take a piss somewhere behind a car. Not a big deal, that's what I do. Like, it's your, it's your business. You own this place and you're telling customers just take a piss somewhere in the middle of your life. Not that I'm complaining, I like the gusto. The gusto was great out. home and unloaded get a closer look at this this 862 headed pile of rust man it, <laughs> it's insane to me what these engines they bring now versus what they used to be so this unit was 550 bucks 100 and they claim 140,000 miles i don't buy that one bit there's no way like there's absolutely no, I mean, it could have been like a, a northern truck, but the block is really just corroded like crazy. The whole thing's just beat to shit. Intake's full of oil, which isn't uncommon. I mean, none of this stuff's uncommon. And most of these junkyard combo meals, they go together okay. So I'm not that bummed. I'm really not bummed at all, actually. Let's see how it goes. Can't believe they took the AC compressor. That's effed up, but whatever. Left my EGR stuff, which I'll need. And then it's gonna go in this gym. It's a party. I'm gonna talk about five threes like I ain't got none. What you think I sold them all? They've never met. It sounds like all hell is breaking loose. They've never, they've never met. Okay, okay, okay. They've never met an LS engine. This is their first time meeting one. Okay, go ahead. Easy, easy, easy. Be nice. No, no, those are dirty rags. Go ahead, go ahead, Frank. You don't even, it's a transmission. You don't, you don't wanna meet the, you don't wanna meet the engine? Charlie, Frank, Frank, you, you don't even care? Okay, he likes it. Charlie, not so much. Charlie's not a fan. She does not like the LF. She's the 2J girl. All right, so that is all I have for today. We have a 5.3 from a junkyard. We have a TH400 that came with a converter. I need to get that thing gone through by my guy, Derek Sanders at Sanders Performance and Transmission. And then we can get this thing dropped into the Caprice, see if we can at least double the horsepower output, crack out a nice 250 at the tire. Shout out to everybody that subscribes and shares and likes and all that stuff. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, Clapped Out Podcast is weekly. Tune in live on Sundays, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, I think. Yeah, that's about right. And if you don't, you can always follow up on your Android or iTunes, iPhone, your Apple stuff. It's on the internet. Just Google Podcast Clapped Out. It'll come up. Appreciate everybody. Have a blessed day. This is the outro so long. I would use a different song, but if I use a different song, then YouTube will pull my monetization. They will claim copyright, and I will be very sad. So instead of that, I'm gonna sing you a song. Collab.com. Hee hee hee.